AMR weather caster operation. This is the setup screen that you're looking at on the left hand side where my mouse is. You can change the speed from miles per hour to knots to kilometers per hour to meters per second. Going down you can change the background colors from steel to blue to night. It's currently on the night screen. <coughs> you can change the air temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius readings. You can change the compass orientation and wind orientation from north up, course up, to bow up. You can also change the heading information from true to magnetic. And here you can change your barometric pressure information from inches of mercury to millibars to hectopascals. And you can base the wind chill on the apparent wind or the true wind. Uh, down here is where your time time change is, so you can change your time zones. And then down at the bottom is the amount of log time that you can log. You can select to log from six hours all the way up to 72 hours. The information along the top is the Weathercaster software version. The model of unit that is connected, right now I have a PB200 connected, and then the serial number of the unit connected. Next box over that I'm circling right now is where the sensor firmware is. Next box over is the position and then the pitch and roll information. The next box over is your course over ground, your speed over ground, your rate of turn, and your depth and temperature if you had an AMR smart sensor connected. Here's your windsock here. This would move based on the wind speed. And this here is indicating that we do have a GPS fix right now. Going over to the right, you have your previous and next. That will change the pages, your advanced setup, your minimize, and your exit. There's also an exit down at the bottom of the screen. I'll hit the next page. This brings you to the gauge page. Wind chill is the top left gauge. Air temperature is next. Apparent wind information in reference to the bow of the boat or the front of a vehicle. True wind information is always referenced to north. Pitch and roll information here, which we'll turn on in a minute. Um, compass information. Uh, the apparent wind speed is indicated in the white bar here, and the true wind speed is indicated in the green bar. The heading is referenced in red with the uh, indicator here pointing toward 343 right now. Barometric pressure information is here. The amount of GPS satellites that you're tracking is down at the bottom, and the time of day is on the right. Moving to the third and final screen um, is more of a digital screen, but with a large compass readout. So you have your apparent wind, the white, your true wind is in the green, and then the heading is in the red. Apparent wind, reference to the bow or the front, is here. The true wind, reference to north, is here. Air temperature, wind chill. The wind chill will not show up unless the air temperature is below, I believe, uh, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Barometric pressure is here, and then the time of day. So there's three screens within Weathercaster. I'll click Next. There's the Setup screen. I'll click Next. There is the Gauge screen, and I'll click Next. And there's the Compass screen.